Stars. You see them shining in the sky when you look up on a beautiful summer evening. White dots in a dark sky. At least, that's how we see them with the naked eye. Fortunately, we humans are capable of inventing amazing machines. This suddenly allows us to see and study these white dots much better. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we can enjoy them with our own eyes, but much better. You don't want to miss anything about the latest updates on the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA, and other space updates, right? So subscribe to our channel and like this video. Let's dive in quickly. Number one, a pulsating stellar relic. The James Webb Space Telescope image shows the planetary nebula NGC 2452, located in the southern constellation of Puppis. The blue haze across the frame is what remains of a star like our sun after it has depleted all its fuel. When this happens, the core of the star becomes unstable and releases huge numbers of incredibly energetic particles that blow the star's atmosphere away into space. At the center of this blue cloud lies what remains of the nebula's progenitor star. This cool, dim, and extremely dense star is actually a pulsating white dwarf, meaning that its brightness varies over time as gravity causes waves that pulse throughout the small star's body. Number two, a shock near a young star. The James Webb Space Telescope continues to reveal various stunning and intricate treasures that reside within the nearby intense star-forming region known as the Great Nebula in Orion. One such jewel is the bow shock around the very young star LLRE, featured in this image. Number three, light echo from mysterious star. In this image, you see a star named V838 Monocerotis. V838 Monocerotis's outburst was somewhat similar to that of a nova, a more common stellar outburst. A typical nova is a normal star that dumps hydrogen onto a compact white dwarf companion star. The hydrogen builds up until it spontaneously explodes by nuclear fusion, like a titanic hydrogen bomb. The explosion exposes a searing stellar core with a temperature of hundreds of thousands of degrees Celsius. Oddly enough, however, V838 Monocerotis did not expel its outer layers. Instead, it grew enormously in size, with its surface temperature dropping to temperatures not much hotter than a light bulb. Growing so large without losing the outer layers is very unusual and completely unlike an ordinary nova explosion. Number four, red giant blows a bubble. A bright star is surrounded by a tenuous shell of gas in this unusual image. U Camelopardalis, or UCAM for short, is a star nearing the end of its life. As it begins to run low on fuel, it's becoming unstable. Every few thousand years, it coughs out a nearly spherical shell of gas as a layer of helium around its core begins to fuse. The gas ejected in the star's latest eruption is clearly visible in this picture as a faint bubble of gas surrounding the star. Located in the constellation of Camelopardalis, the giraffe, near the north celestial pole, UCAM itself is actually much smaller than it appears. In fact, the star would easily fit within a single pixel at the center of the image. Its brightness, however, is enough to overwhelm the capability of the advanced camera. Number five, a homeless star. This is an image of the Tarantula Nebula in the Large Magellanic Cloud, LMC, and its surroundings. The LMC is a satellite galaxy to our Milky Way system, located in the southern constellation of Dorado, the swordfish, at a distance of approximately 170,000 light years. Within this image is the runaway heavyweight star called 30 Door Number 016. It is 90 times more massive than the Sun and is traveling at more than 400,000 kilometers an hour from its home. The young star, only 1 million to 2 million years old, may have traveled about 375 light years from its suspected home in bright star cluster R136. Nestled in the core of 30 Doradus, R136 is one of the most massive young star clusters in nearby galaxies, containing several stars topping 100 solar masses each. 
30 Doradus, also called the Tarantula Nebula, resides roughly 170,000 light years from Earth in the large Magellanic Cloud. Number 6. Star Formation Fireworks The keen eye of the Webb Telescope has peered deeply into the Orion Nebula to see the processes occurring there and revealed many dramatic tableau of young stars hurling material into space and entire solar systems forming. This image shows the spectacular region around an object known as Herbig Haro 502, a very small part of the vast stellar nursery. At only around 1,500 light years distant, the Orion Nebula is one of the closest areas of star formation to us. Understanding how stars form and evolve is an important area of astronomy. Images such as this are not only beautiful from an artistic perspective, but they also help us understand more about how the universe developed and is continuing to change. Number 7. Stellar Wind at A.G. Carinae This image showcases the details of the ionized hydrogen and ionized nitrogen emissions from the nebula seen here in red. This giant star is waging a tug of war between gravity and radiation to avoid self-destruction. The star is surrounded by an expanding shell of gas and dust, a nebula, that is shaped by the powerful winds emanating from the star. The nebula is about five light years wide, equal to the distance from here to our nearest star, Alpha Centauri. Number 8. HH24 HH24 is a molecular cloud and star-forming region containing the Herbig Haro object HH24. This region contains the highest concentration of astrophysical jets known anywhere in the sky. The molecular cloud is located about 1,400 light years away in the L1630 dark cloud, which is part of the Orion B molecular cloud in the constellation of Orion. The region contains multiple protostars. The protostars are driving the Herbig Haro objects in this region. Number 9. M51 with Progenitor Star This James Webb Space Telescope picture shows M51, an interacting spiral galaxy, which is also known as the Whirlpool Galaxy. It is located about 25 million light years away from Earth, but can still be easily observed with a small telescope by amateur astronomers. M51 is also a popular object among professional astronomers, as it shows an ongoing enhanced star formation rate, which is probably caused by the interaction with its companion galaxy. The galaxy was also the location of two supernovae within the last couple of years. The first one appeared in 2005, the second one in 2011. Number 10, a speeding star. This image shows the hypervelocity star that was kicked out of the center of our Milky Way galaxy with enough energy to escape the galaxy's gravitational grip. Dubbed HE0437-5439, the stellar speedster may have been a member of a triple star system and was jettisoned from the galaxy by the monster's central black hole. Galaxies in this image provide a grid of landmarks, which astronomers use to measure the full speed of this stellar outcast over three and a half years. The stellar outcast is rocketing through the Milky Way's distant outskirts at 2.6 million kilometers per hour, high above the galaxy's disk, about 200,000 light years from the center. The star is destined to roam the empty depths of intergalactic space. Thank you for watching the video till the end. Which picture fascinated you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you loved watching this video, press the like and subscribe button to stay notified of the latest updates about the James Webb Space Telescope updates and our new video releases. See you soon in our next video.